Hey guys, it's Jim196, going on speed run for you today. Um, right, first of all, I have to say sorry that this is a s upload to you on Saturday rather than Friday. Uh, I really have to apologise for that. Um, some of you might actually be thinking, what do you mean, like, it's, it's a daily, it's actually a week in the daily, you never uploaded one last week. And um, I have to apologise for that as well. I was away doing this West Island Way walk, and basically, I just forgot to mention that in my last video. So that's how you never got one last week. But yesterday, it was about seven or eight o'clock, and I thought, right, this is getting ridiculous. I need to actually get something done here. I'll post something to YouTube, and I went for it. And I did this drawing on my iPad. It took me fifty minutes or something, so it wasn't too long. And I thought, right, this is good. I'll be able to get upload tonight. But basically, my video recorder thing it records in the format which Windows Live Movie Maker doesn't understand so I'd recorded this and I have to do this for every video I've got to convert it on my computer which takes about double the length of time as the actual footage so if I spend 50 minutes recording it's like an hour and 20 minutes or something yeah. sorry that was that was like really bad math sorry if it was like 50 minutes it'd take about an hour and 40 don't know why I said that there. Uh, and that's usually the amount of time it takes, but last night it was taking about four or five times the length of video. And I was like up until like, I don't know, one or two, and I was absolutely knackered. It's like, because I still haven't got over the fact that I was doing this walk. So I'm still knackered at night. And I just couldn't stay up. And I went to bed when it was at like 55% complete, and I was like, I'm not waiting for that. Anyway, so. But anyway, so I'm getting it to you today, and that's why I'm sending the commentary. So, yeah, I was struggling for ideas this time. Um, this new Black Ops uh, Zombies map thing, I decided, I saw something about that, and I decided to try and draw one of the characters, and that was a Ray Liotta played one. But there was nothing good on it, but it kind of changed my mind, and then I, I searched for Joe Pesci, and I tried recording him, like, drawing him, but there was nothing good for him either so I went back to Ray Liotta and I found a picture from the film Goodfellas and I went I'm starting to draw a picture of him and Robert De Niro in a car so I'm hoping that'll work out I'll try my best to get it up to you next week um, but because I haven't been doing any drawings for a week it's like so difficult to get back into it so I'm hoping it won't take me too long to get back into it and if, if when I get this uploaded it doesn't look like Photographic, and you have to understand that I did go a week without drawing, and to me that's quite a long time. Um, the reason I went a week for it is because, like this West Highway way walk, it was so tiring. Like I I've never really done anything like it before. Some of you will be like athletes and be able to do this in like three days or something, but no, I'm, <laughs> I did it in quite a bit longer. But I just found it too difficult to do anything. Anyway, if you've got any tips, constructive criticism, advice, questions, answers, ideas, anything, anything you want to comment about and you want me to help you out with, just comment below and I will see if I can help you with it. And if it is constructive criticism, I'll always appreciate that as long as it is constructive. I hate people that just go onto videos and be like, man you're awful and stuff and then that's the comment you're like, yeah well that's helpful like you could tell me why I'm awful at least but but I'm not I'm not saying that specifically about me I think I've had a couple of comments like that but that was quite a while ago and I'll agree it probably was quite awful but I, I think recently I've been trying to improve a bit and obviously people understand that I've got time constraints and everything because I mean this week I've had four essays to do in a past paper I've still got two two essays left done the past paper but um like I've got serious time constraints at the moment but I'm still I'm still trying my best to get these uploaded. Um anyway I'm sorry if I sound depressing or anything, I don't know if I will but two reasons I've just woken up and there's people in my still house still sleeping so I'm trying to be quite quiet. And I think I might have just woken up one up so uh that'll be interesting. Um, my 100 subscriber challenge by the 11th of August, that's going well. I think at the moment I'm on 54, and that's like 4 in 1 week, and that's a big improvement to last month where I only had 8 in a month. 
and even then I thought I was a big improvement but to go from eight in a month to four in a week that's like that's pretty good going so if people can keep helping me out with that I'll be like really appreciative and hopefully we'll reach this challenge as I said before I was doing this on my iPad I was using a an app I can't remember what it's called but I'll I'll put the the name of it down in the description once I look it up and um I'm sorry I haven't done a tip in a while I haven't really thought of any um I don't know if you actually find these tips any good or not but right here's one if you're doing a face uh, straight on and you're you're wanting to gauge the distance between between a person's eyes like you're not you're not copying from anything you're just doing this from your head and you can't get the distance right between one eye and the other just try and think about it this way like the average person would probably have the space to fit another eye in between those two eyes but that's all they wouldn't be able to fit like like anything else in it it's just whatever one size of your eye is like one eye that you've drawn you do it like I like touching an ident identical size and you do that again and so you got like three eye shapes in the middle like in a row you rub it in the middle one and then that's you done so that's that's an idea for you <coughs> that's how you gauge the distance right and that's something that my mum taught me and although I'm miles better at her at drawing she's miles better at me at perspectives and stuff like that so that's your tip for today I think that's my third one maybe my fourth so as I say I'm sorry I sound quite croaky if I do um, I'm just trying to keep my voice quiet and I feel really quite awkward doing this because people sleeping are like literally in the next room and I'm, I'm again I'm sorry that I didn't get this uploaded yesterday I'm really disappointed about that and I didn't get one uploaded last week I forgot to say anything about that so I'm probably just repeating myself now so I'm going to stop here and I'm just going to thank you for watching uh, please subscribe to help me out with my subscriber challenge uh, which, I'll put in, which I would have put a note at in the beginning of the video um, please like and favourite and that helps me out with views and thank you for the watch, see you later